guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for my loud TV, but my husband is currently watching soccer and I came back from the grocery store. I picked up a few items to restock my pantry, so I thought on sharing them with you like I always do because these days I can't go to the grocery store and not film what I got. So currently we're good on meat and we're good on vegetables, but we do needed a few things that will go into the pantry let me show you what I got today. Oh, and I went to HEB and I'm going to insert all the prices somewhere in the screen so that you can see. Hey, it's me from a voiceover again because Luke's soccer game did not let me do a very good recording. So I'm going to be inserting a voiceover here so that you can hear me better. And here is everything that I got. And uh, this is basically, like I said, just to restock pantry items since we're good on meat and we're good on vegetables. So let's start by the left. And here I have one bag of dried lentils and I'm going to be using that for a special recipe that I'll be sharing with you on my next what's for dinner. I also picked up some ground nutmeg for a couple of fall themed recipes that I'm developing for my channel and hopefully I'll be sharing with y'all very soon. I also picked up four cans of tuna fish. I usually like the Walcott tuna fish that they sell at Sam's but I gotta say that this Genova brand is the one that tastes the best. So I went ahead and picked up a couple cans of the yellowfish tuna and then another couple cans of the albacore tuna. I like to use these for tuna salads. I like to do uh, tuna ceviche. I like to add tuna to my pasta or to my gnocchis with red sauce and a lot of vegetables. And I even like to use it in my salads just as a quick fix of protein on my lunches and then I also picked up some pumpkin puree again for those recipes that I'm developing and hopefully showing you very soon. In here I have one jar of artichoke hearts, one jar of hearts of palm and one jar of pickled beets. I love to use those in my salads and since I do eat salads every day I'm constantly trying to find different toppings and vegetables to add. I also grabbed this jar of pimentos to fix pimento cheese. No idea when that's going to be happening, but I saw it and I said, you know what? One less thing I have to worry about when I do decide to make pimento cheese at home since I already have that in my pantry. All right, so moving on, I picked up a bag of pecans again to make those fall recipes that I'm trying to create for you. And I thought that these ones were the greatest deal I could find at the store, even though they were already chopped. Uh, otherwise, I would have just gotten the whole thing and chopped them off myself. I really don't care doing the extra step. I just thought it was a better deal. And then I picked up a bag of coconut flakes unsweetened. And why I picked up the organic kind do not ask me. I don't know. I just noticed when I was unpacking everything at home, I just grabbed that bag because it seemed pretty cheap to me if you ask me. Next on my haul, I picked up a tube of tomato paste and I had this pending for the longest time but I keep forgetting. I kept forgetting that I had to get this. I use this for a variety of things and a variety of recipes um, and I usually don't like to waste anything that comes in the can which normally I don't use the whole thing from the can and that's why I think these tubes are actually a better deal. You just keep them in the fridge and you just use whatever it is that you're going to use that day. And I don't think that they are super expensive compared to the cans. I also picked up a um, container of Hershey's Cocos. We like this special dark. And I again, I use this for a variety of desserts. We like to get... Um, we like to make homemade ice cream and if we are making chocolate then that's something that will go in there. And then I picked up my favorite coffee for the Keurig. It is the Bustelo coffee. I've spoken about it millions of times in my channel. And I think these are pretty expensive uh, at HEB. i rather getting them at the commissary on base. They offer a, ve a better deal for the 16 count. I just have not had enough time to go there since I only can go twice a week because of the pandemic and I'm a civilian. 
So um, I only picked up 12 and hopefully this week later on I'll be able to go on base and get my 16 count. I also got honey. Um, I'm running out of honey and I find myself using honey for a lot of things um, including marinating chicken with the Italian dressing uh, from Olive Garden. If you haven't tried that you have to try it. It's really delicious and that's why it, I picked up a very large container of honey. I also picked up a maple syrup. We use maple syrup every Saturday with our pancakes for breakfast and then every healthy dessert that I make in my kitchen has maple syrup as the sweetener component and we're running out of the ones that we have so I picked that gigantic jar. <laughs> I also grab this bottle of tomato soup. I normally do not get stuff like this, but I figure it was going to be a quick fix if I am craving um, a warm lunch. And I really like this one because the ingredients look very natural. I'll show you, I'll flip the bottle in just a second so that you can see. I'm not an expert on ingredients, but compared to other tomato soups I saw in the store, I thought uh, the ingredient was short in all ingredients that I know what they are. And then I also like that the sugar component was a very low on this soup. I've seen other soups. I'm not going to name brands because I don't want to throw shade to any brands, but I've seen soups that are uh, organic and vegan and all that. And when you see how much sugar one can has, it's almost 30 grams. This one has five grams of sugar per the entire bottle. And I thought that was really good. So I purchased it just to try it out. And if I'm craving my warm lunch, I'll just heat this up with a grilled cheese sandwich. And oh my God, that sounds so good already. Next thing in my list is these this can of cinnamon rolls from Annie's. I've been trying a lot of things from this brand and all of them are super good. And I thought cinnamon rolls was going to be a great breakfast for Sunday morning. I know Luke is going to enjoy them and me as well because I love cinnamon rolls and it's going to be less work. Picked up a, a thing of Duke's mayonnaise. We use mayonnaise for everything, uh, for burgers, for hot dogs. If you're wondering how is it that I use mayonnaise for hot dogs, well, I'm Venezuelan. If you don't know what a Venezuelan hot dog is, then you need to go ahead and Google that up. Um, but nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a brand that we prefer. Uh, Luke likes it in sandwiches as well, and we were completely out. So I picked one of those. And then I grabbed a thing of chicken broth. I like the low sodium one so that I can add my salt. And I thought on also grabbing vegetable and beef broth, but it's not necessary because usually when you're required to use those, you can just substitute it for chicken broth. So not to be overbuying things, I just grab the chicken broth only. In the dairy section, I grabbed some feta cheese, some Faye Greek yogurt, and some 2% milk. This carton of milk is only going to be for Luke. I grab a small one. I don't drink um, regular milk. I usually do almond milk, and he doesn't like that one. So um, the Faye Greek yogurt, however, I like to eat it in the mornings with cereal and granola and fruit, and it's just the best thing in the world. It's my current favorite breakfast. So that's why I picked just one large tub of it and then the feta cheese I use in my salads every single day is my favorite cheese for salads and I can assure you that this whole block is going to be gone in a matter of a few days eaten only by myself. And then a miracle happened and the miracle is that I found all-purpose cleaner and spray for my kitchen countertops. I don't know about you, but it's been many months since I've been able to get a hold of 49 or Lysol and spray. And I, when I saw these, I smell them. I did not want to put them again into the shelves because I smell them. So I brought them home with me. Luckily, they smell really good. And luckily, they're going to work for my kitchen counter since I'm almost out of 4.9. Lastly, I got Advil liquid gels for period cramps. I'm sorry if that's TMI, but hey, I'm Natalie. Nice to meet you. I'm a woman and I get periods. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. And here is all my grocery haul of the day. And I'm going to leave you with the Natalie from the past to say goodbye. All right, you guys, that was everything for today. It was a really short video, but I guess every time I film a grocery haul, it is always like that. 
Thank you to all of you who are new here, who are subscribing, liking and commenting my videos. You have no idea how much that motivates me to create more content for you and to bring you more ideas on what to cook and what to do in your home. My heart is really full and really, really thankful for all of you. And if you're new, this is the first video you're watching, subscribe because there's a lot of more fun content coming your way. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.